on your radio, on Global Player, and here. Play Heart. This is Scotland's Heart. Four o'clock. Here's the latest. From Global's newsroom, I'm Becky Clark. Roads across Scotland are moving slowly this afternoon as snow continues to fall across the country. Yellow warnings remain in place for strong winds and wintry showers until Wednesday, but we're hearing the alerts may not stay that way. Alex Burkill is from the Met Office. There is the potential that if we have a greater likelihood of seeing some significant amounts of snow building up, particularly across southern parts of Scotland, we may have to escalate that to an amber warning. In Edinburgh, a number of Lothian bus services are unable to run full routes because of the snow and a landslip has closed the train line between Kilmarnock and Dumfries. ScotRail says replacement buses are on the way. 15 flood alerts have been issued along the west coast where waves could get up to 10 metres high. Also making headlines, a man has been arrested after a pensioner was found dead in her own home in Hamilton. Police were called to DL Street around half past four yesterday afternoon where the 75-year-old woman's body was discovered. Officers have now arrested a 35-year-old man and say inquiries are ongoing. The number of people known to have the coronavirus in the UK has doubled to eight. They're all understood to be contacts of a businessman who was diagnosed last week after flying in from Singapore. In Scotland, more than 50 people have now been given the all clear. From today, those tests will be done at labs in Glasgow and Edinburgh. And Hibs boss Jack Ross sees no reason why they can't go on to lift the Scottish Cup this season. You're lucky as a Premiership club, you enter the competition later and you'll have to win five games to win it. It sounds very easy, but you know we've won two very difficult ties for different reasons to date and you know, we believe that we'll be competitive. They'll host Inverness in the quarterfinals after getting past BSC Glasgow 4-1 in the fifth round. Weather with Glasgow Airport. This summer, fly non-stop to New York JFK with Delta Airlines. Gales continuing to bring heavy snow showers lying on higher ground, lows of one degree. From Global's Newsroom, you're up to date on Scotland's Heart. This is Heart from Global. And Jennifer on heart, but actually this week it's just Jennifer. Rodzez is off sunning himself on a holiday, escaping the snow and the wind of Storm Kira. But to get us through the weather together, we've got Rihanna, Ed Sheeran, and this from Clean Bandit. On your radio, on Global Player, and here. Play Heart. This is Scotland's Heart. Five o'clock. Here's the latest. From Global's Newsroom, I'm Becky Clark. Wintry weather is causing travel issues across Scotland this evening, with more snow on the way in the coming days. Hearts Phil McDonald has the details. Snow has been covering some of Scotland's busiest roads today. On the M8, drivers have had to brave blizzard conditions with a car and a lorry colliding close to the exit slip road at Junction 4 for Whitburn. Things also became incredibly treacherous on the M77 at around quarter past two, a mini spun out on the northbound carriageway. Nobody was hurt and the vehicle has been recovered. Now, hundreds of gritters are already out and about across Scotland, keeping the country moving. I joined Ian this afternoon. He was behind the wheel of Sir Alex Fergritson. It's important to get uh, salt on the road uh, sooner rather than later and then keep applying it when it does uh, require it and keeping the snow off the road. The Met Office yellow warning for snow and ice will run all the way through until Wednesday afternoon and it could be bumped up to amber, meaning there could be a danger to life. Also making headlines this evening, two human traffickers have been ordered to pay their victims thousands of pounds in compensation. Robert McPhee and John Miller were jailed for a total of 17 years after exploiting vulnerable men that they promised paid work, free food and board too. In the last hour, it's been confirmed two healthcare workers in the UK are now being treated for the coronavirus. They're among eight people receiving specialist care. In Scotland, labs in Glasgow and Edinburgh are processing tests from today. Motherwell have cleared all their external debt. More than £2 million has been cleared in the last three years to get the club back in the black. The club's been owned by the fans since 2016. And Boris Johnson's looking into the idea of building a bridge between Scotland and Northern Ireland. It's thought it would cost around £20 billion. Weather with Glasgow Airport. This summer, fly non-stop to New York JFK with Delta Airlines. Gales bringing more wintry showers this evening and overnight. Lows of one degree. From Global's Newsroom, you're up to date on Scotland's Heart. This is Heart from Global. Hey, it's Jennifer here on Heart, getting you home on a rather minging Monday. Hope you've wrapped up all warm in this wind and snow. Now, in the next ten minutes, I'm going to tell you why this winter weather has led to surely the highest accolade of Sir Alex Ferguson's career after some Rita Ora. On your radio, on Global Player, and here, play Heart. This is Scotland's Heart. Six o'clock. 
Here's the latest. From Global's Newsroom, I'm Becky Clark. Reports this evening that an elderly man has died in the wintry weather in Western Bartonshire. It's understood he slipped on ice in Clyde Bank this morning and suffered a head injury. Yellow weather warnings remain in place for strong winds and wintry showers until Wednesday, but we're hearing the alerts may not stay that way. Alex Burkhills from the Met Office that if we have a greater likelihood of seeing some significant amounts of snow building up, particularly across southern parts of Scotland, we may have to escalate that to an amber warning. It happened as snow continues to fall across Scotland with mountain rescue teams scouring Ben Nevis for three missing walkers. A fourth has been found safe and well in what volunteers describe as horrendous conditions. We'll have a full roundup of all the wintry conditions in Hearts Nightly News programme at 6.45. Former Celtic captain and Scotland international Jackie McNamara has been treated in hospital after collapsing at the weekend. His former Hoops teammate John Hartson says he's worried sick after the defender, who also played for Dunfermline and managed Partick Thistle and Dundee United, suffered bleeding on the brain at home on Saturday. Celtic say the thoughts and prayers of everyone at the club are with Jackie and his family. A man's been arrested after a pensioner was found dead in her home in Hamilton. Police were called to DL Street around half past four yesterday afternoon where the 75-year-old woman's body was discovered. Officers have now arrested a 35-year-old man and say inquiries are ongoing. And Scotland Rugby Union head coach Gregor Townsend says Finn Russell refuses to adhere to the high standards he expects of his team. The fly half was dropped ahead of their opening Six Nations match with Ireland for a breach of team discipline. Townsend says Russell left the camp because of a disagreement over alcohol with players after team leaders had decided there would be no drinking. Russell criticised Scotland's management in Sunday Times yesterday. Weather with Glasgow Airport. This summer, fly non-stop to New York JFK with Delta Airlines. Gales bringing more wintry showers this evening and overnight. Lows of one degree. From Global's Newsroom, you're up to date on Scotland's Heart. This is Heart from Global. It's Monday, it's Baltic, and you're listening to Jennifer on Heart, getting you up the road through all the winter weather. Hopefully someplace nice and cosy, as I'm about to tell you about the biggest gift fail ever. I'm talking a five metre fail after some Maroon 5 and Ariana Grande. Heart travel with Glasgow Airport. This summer, fly non-stop to New York JFK with Delta Airlines. Hey, it's Jennifer. You're listening to Heart and Steve's got all the latest on the roads. Thank you, Jennifer. Queensferry crossing southbound at the moment is closed due to the winter weather conditions and there is a risk of snow and ice falling from the overhead cables. Uh, so the Queensferry crossing closed southbound and you are going to have to divert uh, via the A985 and the King Carden Bridge at the moment. Uh, also westbound on the bypass, you're still slow there and also also still eastbound at the moment. Uh, you'll find things slower on the Baberton Junction and the M8 westbound. You're slow between Livingston and Heart Hill. That's your latest heart travel. On your radio, on Global Player and here. Play Heart. This is Scotland's Heart. 6.45. Here's Heart's nightly news.